Brexit has exploded six myths propagated by Project Fear, with Britain poised to reap the benefits of life outside the European Union, a leading city lawyer has said. Barnabas Reynolds, a partner at top city law firm Shearman & Sterling, was responding to the bold vision for the financial services sector outlined by Rishi Sunak at Mansion House last week, in which the Chancellor said Britain was now free to do things differently and better. In an article written for the Polity A Think Tank, Mr Reynolds said, This year a vast array of opportunities opened to the newly sovereign UK, so far they have been underappreciated. Why has the legacy of Project Fear continued to cast its long shadow? To answer, we need only cast our minds back to the misleading claims, reasoning and analysis of the notorious Project Fear campaign which, though now vividly exploded by events, revealed how many had lost faith in themselves and the UK. Mr Reynolds selected six specific myths which he said had already been exposed as fallacies. He added, yet the most serious mistake, which underpinned the absurdity of these failings, was a failure to examine, let alone understand, the fundamental differences between the UK and EU legal systems and methods methods of reasoning. The differences are marked. The UK system belongs to no one, and was developed by a multiplicity of judges over centuries, with limited parliamentary and regulatory interventions. By contrast, in the EU and across much of the world, legal codes sought to superimpose often vague and abstract notions of fairness on individual and commercial activity. Mr. Reynolds argued, he added, the doomed negotiations of Theresa May and her team, which accepted the imposition of EU law on the UK's economy in the belief that this was good for UK commerce, were misguided, since they failed to accommodate the crucial legal distinction. Worst of all was the negotiators' acceptance of the EU idea that the application of EU law in Northern Ireland would provide some form of workable solution to an invisible border on the island of Ireland. The renegotiation of the whole arrangement under the Johnson-Frost team now requires them to grapple with an ideological EU thought process, embedded as things stand in the UK-EU withdrawal agreement and its Northern Ireland protocol, in which theory trumps the facts, in a manner alien to the common law.